Hey there friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Austin and on this channel we talk about all things Kajabi, marketing, and growing your online business. Now today I want to talk to you guys just a little bit about Kajabi as a platform and is it enough? A common question that I get from a lot of clients and my coaching clients and things like that is can we really do everything inside Kajabi? You know, it's pretty much marketed as an all-in-one platform, and that is one of the things that really drew me to Kajabi in the first place, is that it is such a versatile platform that we can do so many things with it. You can have your blog in there, you can have um, your contact management in there, you do your pages, your website, your checking um, your checkout pages, all of those things can be in one platform so you don't have to have all these integrations. Sometimes, however, depending on your circumstance, there may be the value of adding some third-party integrations, and that just kind of depends on the goals that you want to accomplish, what your strategy is, what are some things that you want Kajabi to do for you, and what are some things that Kajabi has elements that maybe you want a little bit more of. So let me dive into this just a little bit deeper to kind of help you understand what I'm talking about and see what might be the best choice for you. So let's start with the checkout pages. So the checkout process, of course, is that we want to be able to collect funds, and Kajabi uses Stripe and PayPal to be able to collect those funds and do all of your recording and all those kind of things to be able to then seamlessly give them access through automations and your products of what it is that you want them to have access to, as well as whatever pages you want them to see and the email sequences that may go along with enrolling in your product or purchasing whatever it is that you're offering. Now, there are times, however, where it might be beneficial to use a third-party software like Quaderno because if you're international, then um, currently, either we're in the process of up to upgrading this, and at some point down the road, we've been told that Kajabi will be able to handle international taxes, but at the time, right now, um, there's a few things that um, might be beneficial to be able to use a third-party software for the international tax reporting. Another example might be things like scheduling. So if you have a site that you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, for example, and you want someone who visits your site to be able to schedule a specific time with you, and or maybe to do a discovery call. I do that on my website as well. If you're interested in working with me on my Kajabi done for you services, you can go to my website and you can schedule a discovery call directly on the website. But I don't do that inside Kajabi. What I do is I integrate in Kajabi with a third party application like Calendly or Acuity or some other calendar scheduling software. And then we have the option inside Kajabi to then embed code from a third-party option. So um, you, at least in this case with a calendar, then we get our calendar embed code from the third-party software, and then we embed it onto a Kajabi page works out wonderfully. It's super seamless. That way, if you want to charge for that session, you can do it through Kajabi or not, depending on the scenario and the situation that maybe warrants it. So that's another one that's really handy. The other thing is um, like external quizzes or something like that. So there are times where we do have the quiz capability inside Kajabi or the form, long form type of option inside Kajabi, but if it's not quite robust enough for the specific things that you might need for your business, then you can look at a third party, integrate it, and embed it into a Kajabi page through the embed code, and be, still be able to have those opportunities and make it work exactly the way that you want it to. So another example might be something like uh, commenting on your like webinars or those kind of things. So if you're doing live webinars or if you're doing um, pre-recorded webinars, if it's pre-recorded, you can pretty much do everything inside Kajabi. If you are wanting to do live webinars, however, then you would want to use something like Zoom or Webinar Jam or GoToMeeting or some of these other options that are third party 
integrate it seamlessly with Kajabi to be able to still have the emails and all those kind of things um, inside Kajabi, but then you can host and have all of those benefits of the webinar platform uh, with whatever third-party software works well, as well as that commenting aspect. So if you want commenting to go along with your pre-recorded webinar, then we integrate with something like Discus. So like I said, there's just a lot of different options depending on the scenario that you need and what you're trying to accomplish. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get from clients, of course, is the email and the CRM system that Kajabi offers. Is it, is it robust enough to handle what you need? Can I do it all inside Kajabi or is it better to stick with another platform? And this, again, it kind of boils down to specifically your needs and what you want your CRM system to do for you. Kajabi's CRM system is, is very robust, in my opinion. I think it works really, really well, especially for someone new starting out with a smaller list. So if you don't have a really large list, and when I say a large list, I'm talking like 15 to 20,000 names. Once you get to that level, you probably want to, depending on what kind of analytics you're looking for, what kind of rules and automations you're wanting to have happen, in those kind of scenarios with a larger list, with larger analytic desire, or certain things to have happen under different circumstances, you might want to stick with something like um, a lot of these more Oh, I can't even think of one off the top of my head. There's so many good ones that are out there. You know, you've got your HubSpot and your constant contact and, and those kind of things. Now your MailChimps and those kind of things, it, it just depends again on the size of your list and what you want it to do for you. Kajabi can give you email broadcasts. There's email sequences. You have automations that then can have something inside Kajabi that triggers you can have um, event emails that are event reminders and pre-event and post-event emails. You can have announcement emails that are attached to things inside your products. So there are a lot of different communication tools inside Kajabi. The part that is really where it breaks down on sticking with your other CRM system is really when it comes down to some of those analytics and getting a lot deeper into if someone hasn't done something or if they've opened this email um, and clicked on the links inside the email and see what they've clicked on um, and how, what kind of engagement that they're getting in those emails. Now those are improving. Kajabi is constantly looking at making it better and that's one of the things I love about Kajabi. It is an all-inclusive. It is one of those things that handles just about anything. It is better than any other platform that I've tried. And believe me, I've looked into just about all of them, especially for the price. And it gives us so much more versatility to be able to be customizing and making really professional sites. But at the same time, there's probably never going to exist a perfect solution for everybody. So what you want to do is you want to decide what is the perfect solution for you and what specific needs you need for your business and then kind of weigh the pros and cons. And the great thing about Kajabi is that if it doesn't have it, we do have that option to integrate with these other third-party applications. And yes, that is going to increase your cost, um, your, you know, your business overhead, that kind of thing. But at the same time, um, if you're growing to the point where you do need some of these other applications, then you probably can handle some of those additional expenses anyway. So... Um, just wanted to throw some of those out there since it's been something that's come up pretty frequently in uh, some discussions recently and when and where and how that these other applications might come into play and what are some reasons why you might need them. So if you would like some more information about what are some of the best third-party software to use for you, or if you have specific questions about your Kajabi site, you're welcome to go to my website at striveforsavvy.com and check out the, the link there to schedule that discovery call where we can talk about your site, the strategies, what are some of the things that you might be doing that you could be doing better, 
some different design strategies, all of those kind of things, uh, we can definitely discuss that. So I look forward to hearing from you. Feel free also to comment below if you would like some feedback as well. And we'll see what we can do about figuring out what is the best third party application for you and if Kajabi works as the perfect solution for your business. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.